Okay, sir, your items are all scanned. All together, that'll be... 11.95. Thank you. 8, 9, 10, 11... No, that's 12. Here you go, sir. 11.95. Have a great day now. Hi, and welcome to 27 Shopping. Would you like a bag? Babe? It's you. I... What are you doing here? I thought we were meeting at the restaurant. Oh, of course I'm happy to see you. Come here. Sorry if I seemed surprised. I just wasn't expecting you here, I guess. I get so tunnel-minded when I'm serving customers. I... Kind of forgot I exist sometimes. <laughs> and did you really stop by to talk to me? Aww, babe. Well, I finish in just a couple minutes. Got a change of clothes in the back. Nothing special though, sorry. But I've done my best to look good for you. I look good in anything? Oh, charmer you. Just got a few more minutes until I get taken off, so... I'll meet you out the front? No, no, don't worry. It's not Michael taking me off. Yeah, her, the vampire. She's so nice. A bit of a shit talker, though. I really... Oh, sorry, sir. I'll get to your shopping right away. <laughs> sorry for the inconvenience. I'll see you in a minute, babe. It won't be long. Hey, honey. So, how do I look? Aw, thank you. Gotta say, you look rather dashing. Now the restaurant isn't far, is it? I was gonna use the Maps app on my phone to find it since you said it was just a few blocks away. Okay, cool. Lead the way. So... How has your day been? Anything exciting? Ah, uh, no luck on the job front, huh? Well, don't worry, love. I think somebody will recognize your talent. I'm really looking forward to this. Never been on a restaurant date before. Or many restaurants in general. Actually, all my previous dates have been so casual that it's nice doing something like this for a change. Kind of like I've advanced a step or something. How about you? Well, I guess we're both experiencing something new tonight, aren't we? Beautiful evening, isn't it? Almost a shame to be spending it indoors. Oh, do you know if the restaurant lets you sit outside? Oh, it is autumn, isn't it? Sorry, I forgot. I don't usually get cold unless it's winter. We can sit inside, no problem. Maybe... near a window seat? Actually, no, I'll be too focused on you, won't I, love? I'm not gonna want to look at anything else, promise. I also had a look at their menu earlier. I already know what I'm gonna have. Well, I'm going to have a cooked salmon with a side of fries. I happen to like fish. Probably baked into my genetics. Also, thanks for paying for this and booking it and everything. Like I said last time, we'll take in turns. I've got the next date. Promise. We'll do something exciting. And... I will try not to rip off your clothes again. I'm so sorry about that. Especially the ones you're wearing tonight looks 
expensive. Might cost me a whole week's wages. <laughs> Oh, is that the restaurant up ahead? Oh, it looks nice. Very quaint. Wait, that's not like a backhanded compliment, was it? It looks nice and tiny. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, it looks really nice. Which I have already said. Sorry, honey. A bit excited and tad bit nervous. Not because of you. Not at all. I'm just, again, this is my first time doing something so formal with, with someone I care about, you know? But I promise I'll be okay. Nothing will go wrong and I'll be on my best behavior. Now let's go inside. Oh, I'm going to order one of everything off of the menu. Kidding, kidding. Don't worry. We wouldn't want to bankrupt you now, would we, love? Oh, thank you for holding the door open for me. You're too nice. Whoa. It's even nicer on the inside. Hi, we have a table booked for two. It should be under... Oh, you already got it prepared? That's nice. Very efficient here, aren't they? Lo I'm sorry. What was that? Yes, I'm a Neko. Why? Oh. I think I know what this is. No, come on, babe. There's no point in making a big deal about it. I'll just go. You don't have to come with me, it's fine. You book the table, you can stay if you want. Have a nice meal, I don't want to take that from you. No, no, it's not the restaurant's fault. Well... Yes, it kind of is, but did you book it online or was it over the phone? Phone, alright. And did they ask you if you had any non-humans with you? Yeah, uh... I'm not allowed in certain restaurants because of my hair. The Food and Safety Organization has a code covering it. That's why I was so excited. I thought you would found a restaurant that allowed it. They're just worried about our hair getting in other people's food, that's all. It's a stupid law, I know, but... They have to follow it, otherwise they could get in a lot of trouble. What was that? Oh, they were offering to let us take our food to go? Well, that's better than nothing, I guess, but... Are you sure you want to stay with me? It is autumn, after all, and it's cold. Wouldn't you rather be inside? I mean... I don't even know what we can do. It's pretty late, and this place isn't exactly lush with stuff to do anyway. No, we can't go to the cinema again. It's your date. Besides, there's nothing good on at the moment. Well, yeah, I think the sky looks beautiful tonight, but... Do you really want to sit down and look up at the stars when you could be doing literally anything else? You do? Aw, honey. Well, what about our food? I... Oh, you already ordered it? That's lovely. And... Wow, they're already done? The reviews were right. 
But they're quick. Aw, oh, come on, babe. Let's go find a nice spot to sit down at. This looks great. Perfect vantage. And just far enough that there's not too much light pollution. Wow, look at how many stars are up there. It's so pretty. Wanna guess how many there are? I'm thinking a billion and seventy one. What about you? A billion and seventy two, wow, what a creative answer. Could I have a bite of what you ordered? It looks pretty nice. Mmm, delicious. You have very good taste. You know, if you're cold, you can come closer if you want. I'd be happy to warm you up. E even if you're not cold, you can come over, actually. Absolutely. Come over here. There. Nice and comfy. You know, I think I like being out here with you. Rather than being stuck inside of some old stuffy restaurant. Just you, me, and the beauty of nature. God, I have not been stargazing for ages. You know, when I was growing up, I really wanted to be an astronaut. It's true. I had a poster of the whole Apollo 11 team. Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, all of them. But it wasn't a realistic dream, was it? But that's okay. I'm not sad about it or anything. Sometimes I think people can get so focused on achieving the impossible dreams. They tend to forget what's around them, you know? And that works for certain people, but not for me. I like who I am now, I think. What I am and where I'm going. I don't think I need to change. I'm a good person, I believe. At the end of the day, that's all you really need to be. Besides, I'm plenty here, babe. <laughs>